This is the abstract for the research paper I was commissioned to write by the Department of Justice Canada for the Office of the Federal Ombudsman for Victims of Crime. This paper will discuss victim-led restorative justice, addressing the question, why is it that even as restorative justice and restorative processes are offered to victims, as a whole, it is rejected. Autoethnography is the methodology that will be employed to respond to this question. Common definitions and applications of restorative justice will be presented explicating how they are used, by whom, and to what end. Sabona, a new model of restorative justice, will be explained, situating the explanation in the framework of both restorative and criminal justice and aligning it with social justice to reveal how it not only challenges common definitions and processes of restorative justice, but furthers the important discourse on forgiveness and apologies, demonstrating how revictimization can occur when forms must be filled in and systems adhered to in order for victim voice and experience to be heard and viewed as valid. Situating Sabona within the context of building relationship with Indigenous people will be explored, underscoring that reconciliation is a pressing, challenging and vital issue wherein mistrust, anger and fear via a Sabona lens means no quick fixes, means rather commitment to stay the course no matter the challenges that arise. Sabona demonstrates how to use the challenges as opportunities. This paper will conclude with suggestions for implementing concrete ways of addressing how to create safe, inclusive, and powerfully effective means for victims of crime to want to be involved in the justice system via a Sabona lens of lived experience intricately linked to human rights.